Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we'll be reacting to Miraculous Season 5 Episode 19, Pretension. Finally, it's been a while, we finally got another episode out in English dub and I have been waiting for this episode because I heard some things about it, like I said, no spoilers, but I heard that this one was um, an interesting episode. So I am so excited, I miss Miraculous, I feel like it's been a while even though I know it hasn't been that long. But it, it has for me. <laughs> now, um, I heard that the rest of the season five is going to be released in English dub tomorrow, which is the 19th. So I'm not 100% sure that's true, but you know, if it does, it does, it don't, it don't. We will see. So anyways, let's get started. 2 p.m. Fencing class. 4 p.m. Oh, we got Kagami back. If I get out of fencing class early, we'll have four minutes and 37 seconds to spend with each other. This girl got it down to the seconds. What? You think I should disguise myself in case your father picks you up? <laughs> Not today. Besides, no one will tell him. A real one. Wait, Felix? Whoa, whoa. Wait, what is she trying to- she trying to Tony Stark him? What? Huh? Is she trying- Can no one ever tell you that stealing others' energy against their will isn't nice? They trying to infuse the Kwame's powers into him? To heal him? Who said anything about healing? All I need is time. More time to seize Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous than I could wish for anything. This is a wild start. You're forgetting my part of the deal, Gabriel son. As old. Oh shoot, she's here too. Our vision of the future is much bigger than that. We are connected, just like our children. <laughs> okay, uh, there's already so much going on. I'm only like a minute in. Wow. Okay. Uh, can can I just take the time to process? Like, okay. I forgot, this is literally right after Emotion. Uh, it's been a while since I watched it, so... Um, I remember that definitely was a crazy episode. Um, I do remember Felix Thanos snapping everyone out of existence. And um, I, you guys did explain to me, he's not really a villain. He is more of a anti-hero, which does make more sense um, in his case. And... I do remember at the end he did realize the error of his ways. So he's back. So we're gonna see what he's doing now after this. And I will not tolerate another glitch in our plan. Whether it be Adrian's cousin, that Felix boy, or this Marinette Dupang Chang who keeps looking around your son. Everybody hating on Marinette. As it turns out, Felix had the bright idea of leaving this behind during his last visit. Oh interesting. That was a season four finale. Adrian, no more mustaches and four minutes and 37 second dates. That's over. I've been doing some thinking and we shouldn't have to hide. Oh, hey, Kagami, how are you? <laughs> Hello, Marinette. I'm fine, thank you. After all of that, it's just, oh, hey, Kagami, <laughs> how are you? He thinks I'm one of those fans who follows you everywhere, showers you with hand-knitted gifts, and knows every single one of your middle name days. You're half right. Isn't that what you used to do, Marinette? Yes, but I was doing it out of love. And besides, I've changed a lot. You're correct. <laughs> really? No. I mean, she has changed some. She's leveled up. I also have been running away from my responsibilities for too long. Uh, Kagami. It is time I talked to my mother. Kagami, you deserve so much. You kept me waiting, Kagami. Huh? You just pulled up. What do you mean? Once I've convinced your father, we won't have to count the seconds anymore. Everything's oh. gonna be okay. Hello, how are you? Everything's going to be okay. I know she ain't going to his house. Girl. Oh my God. I was literally just about to praise Marinette for being more open and strong-minded, not being afraid anymore. I was like, yeah, you go ahead, girl. Now I'm like, okay, girl, dial it back. Wait a minute. Uh, just straight up going to his house when you're not exactly welcome is a bit wild, actually. Oh boy. Maybe I should have warned your father beforehand, sent him a letter or a text or an email yeah. or- You're right, Marinette. My father has changed. Everything's gonna be okay. Yes. I am nervous, and I'm not even Marinette. 
Adrian, you may leave us now, please. I think Marinette and I will be more comfortable talking alone. No. I'd rather no. stay here with Marinette. Adrian, I'm your father. I'm asking you to go up to your room. No, don't leave her. I am so scared for Marinette. Plague. I've got to go back down there. I can't leave Marinette yes. alone. Well, go ahead then. What's stopping you? I can't. I can't disobey my father. Because he gave him a command, didn't he? You see this pancake? It's your future. If it's not big enough for you, I can make it just the way you like. Simply tell me what you want. Double pancake, triple pancake, with jam, maple syrup, bananas. All you have to do is ask. Bro, what are you talking about, man? You know, I remember the hat you created for Adrian. You're talented. Oh, dang. That was episode two. Could become the world's greatest designer. The perfect <laughs> pancake awaits you. The only thing you won't be able to do with that pancake is share it with Adrian. And oh! Life is like fashion. You think you have a choice, but all you have is the illusion of choice. And I decide what choices are given to you. You're wrong. Fashion is about listening to people. It's about understanding who they are. Preach, girl. Preach! <laughs> no, that's not fashion. That's making dresses for your dolls. These are people! Whereas I create people's desires. They buy huh? what I decide they'll buy. They think what I want them to think. I'm the one who makes people. You think you're a god? You think you love Adrian? But you're just under the spell of this world I've created. A world where Adrian is a star, shining high above. Is this serious? Either you eat this pancake and have everything except Adrian, or you refuse the pancake and you'll have nothing. Trying to bribe her out of this? I... Yeah, don't eat his food. Oh, he just straight up murdered this girl to her face. <laughs> no! I forbid you! Oh! What? I love you, Adrian. I won't abandon you ever. <gasps> okay, Marinette! Problem is with your pancakes, way too much flour, not enough butter. You're using an old, completely outdated recipe. And that's the good thing about being a baker's daughter. I don't even need to try them to know that they're tasteless. Ooh! This girl is on fire! I was not expecting that. Wow. Okay, she ate that. No crumbs. I am so proud of Marinette this season. She really is growing up. Wow, girl's a savage now. Marinette started to be telling one of my favorites now. Wow, she really has had a lot of growth so far. I don't want you thinking of me and Adrian as a couple anymore. Out of respect for Adrian's and my feelings. And Marinette's as well. Not gonna lie, that kind of scared me. That was loud in my ears. Dictates your behavior. A duty. If you're not your own master, then you are already your own slave. <laughs> Thanks to you! No one should have to endure such words. Whoa. Sunroof activated. Uh, he just kidnapped her? Dang, that was gangsta. He just straight up just snatched the girl out of the car. Activated. She was stocked up on rings. To recover the miraculous of the peacock. Akumatize me! Your wish is my commands, Rugi san Oh uh, yeah, this is bad. I don't know what's going on this episode. Oh, I forgot she had a charm on her. Bro, these charms are useless now. Let go of me right now! Oh, wow. Coral <laughs> was about to be come up with that chair. Multitude! Look for him. His trail is bound to turn up somewhere. Oh, because he transformed back. She lost the scent. Since I saw you, I haven't been able to stop thinking about you. I felt that you and I were the same. We have so much in common, and yet, you're also so different. I've never met someone like you. Hold up! Wait a minute! What?! I've been following you non-stop. Huh?! Spy on me?! And now you've kidnapped me to get to know creepy. me?! Uh... Yes? Get a restraining order on the Kagami. You can't take someone away against their will! Sorry, I won't do it again. I just wanted to protect you from your mother. She can't talk to you like that. <gasps> Felix?! Wait, wait, wait! Felix likes Kagami? Oh my- I wasn't prepared for this, what? Girl is still in shock. I 
can't believe I stood up to Gabriel at Russ like that, Tiki. You were incredible, Marinette. Yeah, this girl was... Argos must have transformed back. It doesn't matter. We have a way to track down Felix, too. <sighs> oh, no. I've come to save you from that good for nothing. We've come to save you, Kagami. I'm the one who's Oh, no. Dusu, spread my feathers. I think she might be safer with Felix. Follow me. Oh, oh. I was not expecting that. Return to Megatoma and let us return your daughter safely back to you. If you're not with me, you're against me. Oh, there's too much going on. There's too many of them. Oh, he said that. Ling is the weapon of cowards, and this staff is the weapon. He left the staff. If he detransformed back, then um, the staff will come back to him. Close in. Just in time. You know, if you leave me here, my mother will calm down. She'll stop attacking you. I'm not here to return you to your mother, but to set you free from her. I don't need you to set me free from anything. I can very well set myself free. Hey! Okay, Naomi. Hey, no. She doesn't seem to like you either. My mother pretends to come. Yeah, your mom is fake. Arrows at me. I've never met my father. It was a thousand times worse. What do you mean by that? How bad it was. Felix is bad. But don't you need it to fight? Fighting's no longer my priority. All I care about <laughs> is your safety. <laughs> what is happening right now? Why are they kind of cute? Like, I was not expecting this. No. No, no! Oh, that was such a big brain plan. I don't understand. You have the miraculous of the peacock. Why don't you create a sense monster to get us out of here? First of all, don't call it that. Fuse to create a being to manipulate them, control them, abuse them, and end up destroying them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. When you bring a living being into this world, you have a responsibility towards them. Your duty is to protect them, love them, help them discover the true meaning of their existence. To deprive them of that is monstrous. My freaking heart. Are you talking about yourself? I'm talking about us. My freaking heart right now. What is going on? I am nobody's prisoner. Felix is not your enemy. He's like me. He doesn't know how to express himself. Everyone is wrong about him. Including me. <gasps> That's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, do you understand what's going on? I'm not sure of anything anymore. I love how they're equally lost. You're going to give me back my daughter and relinquish all miraculous. <laughs> Kagami, take this. I'm counting on you. What? Now is the time to trust Felix. We'll cover you. Help trust them. What is the plan? I'm so confused. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was the plan. But where did Felix go then? This magical charm will remind you that, in case of a problem, Monarch will never be a good ally. Oh, these charms are useless! <sighs> we let him get away with the miraculous of the peacock. I hope we won't regret it. It's most likely safer with him. How could we fail? Our plan was perfect! It was your pretension that was our undoing, tsurugi son. How dare you! This I don't blame her. Despite what you claimed, your daughter is not under your control. She's the reason we failed. Oh, wow. Oh, that was so disrespectful. Mother, I can no longer accept your controlling my behavior. To follow one's heart is not a weakness. I was wrong about you. You are weak, controlled by your feelings. You are not up to our family's ambitions. I was like, I'm not out of the car. I don't care if it's still moving. No longer worthy of our family crest. Wow. You disgust me. I understand why you like that Marinette Dupin Chang so much. She really is an incredible young lady. Enjoy your time with her, my son. These are precious moments, creating memories you will cherish deeply. Okay. When you're in London next year. What? No! You can't do that! May I go up to my room? I thought he was about to swing! But of course, Adrian, you're free. You really want to send him to London? It's for his own good, and I don't know who could stop me. You might not even be alive next weekend, so what are you talking about? I wish I had your courage. I'll always love you, you know. Adrian, is everything alright? Of course everything's alright. Good night, Baroness. Good night, Adrian. Nothing! 
Nothing's all right at all, that's for sure. Are we gonna be kind of worried? Good luck to- B Right! What are we gonna do? I don't know, Platt. But I hope we'll figure it out. Uh-uh. No. No. I'm not having that. Oh, what? Hold on. Were you followed? My mother thinks I'm at Ikebana class. Oh. The ring gave your mother was a fake. This is the real one. The rules of your family no longer have to be created by your ancestors. From now on, they're yours to make. Oh my gosh! Oh, they're so cute! Okay, that was pretension. What an episode. Uh, I need to collect my thoughts. So many emotions, so many things happened. So many things happened. Okay, first, let's talk about Marinette. How she stood up to Gabriel. That was... That was actually amazing coming from her. I was not expecting her. That was gangster. Wow. He really sat there and murdered that girl right in front of her face like that. Wow. But can we talk about um, how Adrian felt really, really uncomfortable. He did not want to leave her that, um, alone with his dad, which he had a right to do that way. But he, for some reason, couldn't go back down there. He could not disobey his dad. Hmm, what is that telling y'all? But anyways, let's, aside from that, um, let's talk about Kagami and Felix. I'm just so speechless right now. That was, it, they're so cute. Do I have a new favorite ship? Oh, I think I do. Please, I don't want this one to sink. <laughs> so many of my favorite ships have sunk and I hate it. But. They are so cute together! Wow, this is actually a big contrast from Felix in the last episode, which was emotion. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Oh, and he went through so much to protect her. And honestly, I feel like she, yeah, she's safer with Felix and her own mother. But her mom is garbage. Well, we kind of get the idea why. And he had gave her a big ring that her mom took and gave her back the real one for her. That is so sweet. But what if Bob was saying, like, where did you get that one? And what is this one you gave me? Like, yeah, that would be, that would be funny, but I, I hope we see more of them. Now, the funny thing is, I kept seeing fans have been involving with so many different people. I have seen a lot of people saying like, oh, she's gonna end up with Luca. And we obviously saw uh, that didn't happen. And I did see some people saying that, you know, she was gonna be with Felix. But then I was just like thinking like, man, that ain't gonna happen. Cause like, she's always been shit with so many people, which obviously didn't end up being canon. But this would end up being actually canon. And that's what shocked me. And I'm actually living for them. They are so precious together. I love it. Now, let's talk about Gabriel. So him and Natalie, they were trying to infuse Aquami's powers into him and not to heal by time. Sir, it's too late for that. You screwed up, okay? I thought they were trying to do like a Iron Man kind of situation for a second. But then every time I keep thinking, I keep thinking, what if it's some kind of plot twist that Maybe what if he still kept Ladybug's lucky charm from that day and if he was able to give it to her and she used it, she could heal him. She most likely could. But after every time he does something I hate, it's just like, bro, I hope you die soon. Like, let the process speed up even faster. And people talk about, people just talk to Adria, talking about, oh, I like that Marinette girl. Make sure you spend a lot of time with her before you end up going to London. Oh, that was so, no. I was so heated, bro. I stood up with Adria. I thought Adria was about to swing on him. I was about to say, do it, do it. But he, of course, he didn't do it. <laughs> I've never seen Adrian so bad. Wow. Gabriel has lost his freaking mind talking about who can stop me. He, he's, he really thinks he's God out here. Even though he's about to die in like two weeks. But still. Oh, I have no idea how season five is going to end. I'm sure a lot of people already saw the finale and stuff. 
Um, I'm, like I said, waiting for Dove. Please do not tell me, do not give me spoilers. I want to be completely surprised. Man, I am so sick of Gabriel. Anyways, now the next episode, I believe, is supposed to be Revolution? Revelation? I am not sure. One of those two. And I, from what I've seen um, on the title card, I see that this next episode has a lot to do with Lila, which, um, shockingly, I am excited for because I've been dying to see what happens with Lila after emotion because we now know that Gabriel has, um, betrayed her. And so now she's going against Gabriel, and I want to see that. I'm, I want to see Gabriel go downhill. I'm starting to hate him a little bit more than Lila now. Like, how dare he? How dare he? But yeah, anyways, this was a really good episode. I love this. I can't wait for the rest of the episodes to come out. But I hope you all enjoyed as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.